good morning students now let us discuss about smart grid functions okay today's topic is smart grid function okay so what are the functions of smart you can see one by one first function is fault protection first function is enhance fault protection so already know that smart grid has the advantage of fault protection so that is we can find the fault easily okay that means we can identify the fault and similarly we can locate the fault and we can able to isolate it okay so we can able to identify the fault and we can able to locate it as so fault can be restored okay the service can be get restored okay this is the advantage of grid okay in which in fault okay so how this can catch how is fault identification how the restoration can be achieved means by the use of sensors okay. it can able to identify the fault and it can able to identify any abnormal condition during the operation and it able to isolate and simply the service can be restored again okay. and the um, service can be maintained as soon as possible okay so this is the first function okay first function is enhanced fault protection so next function is fault current limiting okay so what is fault current limiting so we can able to prevent the fault current okay so how will you prevent so there are many thing many elements we are using sensors and communication informations okay these are the thing we are using advanced features okay that is uh, i already told you that smart grid is a it is a function of that is ict technology that is information and communication technologies okay so by the way we can able to prevent it prevent the fault current okay so so we can ensure that whether whether the fault current is exceeding our damaging level okay we have some pre, some levels and whether uh, whether the current flow is exceeding the damaging level so yeah, that will be ensured okay so by the way we can uh, we can able to prevent the fault current flow okay so automatically it can able to limit it okay so automatically it has the features to limit the fault current so next function is diagnosis and notification of equipment condition so what is this already we know that diagnosis means it is monitoring okay it is monitoring operations so that that mean only diagnosis means okay uh, so in smart grid we have the features of monitoring okay that is uh, here where whether the any conditions how the system is operating whether it is operating in smooth manner or whether it has any thing you have to any any features any fault is identified so like that any abnormal conditions arise or not like that we are we can able to monitor it okay so this um, so it can able to diagnosis so we can able to monitor our equipments whether the equipments is operating in safe manner whether the it is operating smoothly okay like that we can able to diagnosis it okay so we can able to op able to locate it okay so we can able to diagnosis so this is one of the features of smart grid uh, so next is wide area monitoring visualization and control okay so this is it has the features of wide area monitoring so already i told that we can able to find the fault and detect and detect it and we can locate the fault and we can are uh, able to reach this again i told it has features this thing it comes under wide area monitoring and control so what is monitoring visualization control so monitoring that already discussed so what is diagnosis how will you how will the this thing it has the features of monitoring and can able to place it okay it will can be able to identify how the service how the operation is performed like to visualize 
and they must get control okay so think what are the it requires uh it is sent up and this communication communication and it also involves uh, information processing okay this we can able to id and it can be made if anything we find uh, we identified as any abnormal condition the can be restored again okay. see within a fraction of second we can able to locate it faster okay so this is a function it have it have a monitoring which and control so next is dynamic ability rating okay dynamic can you hear me if you can't hear me you can inform me okay the capability rating okay so what is you know that capability no no or capability means uh, how can we withstand okay what is it okay so in everything so this denote that the uh, explain how capability can be load and how that it will and it is what is the upload and find this ability rate it is our flow control okay so pre we will for power flow so control this one we is already you will discuss in similarly power flow control so what are the we will report Uh, the trans uh, it deals about the transmission and distribution okay how to the, the power flow techniques it involves about the transmission and distribution okay so what are uh, for transmission and power flow what will be techniques we are using we need some fax controller isn't it so we uh, we are you already started in fax so, so how to um, control the power power flow how will you control so we are, there will be using some controller okay so similarly by use fax con and some series capacitor and some spur conductors is angle regulating transformers so by devices or by using this tools the power control study okay we can able to count, okay so next next feature is adaptive shun uh, so okay Uh, studied previously also it has the features of adaptive protection okay means what is for protection what are the devices we are using normally what are the devices we are using protective device normally we will be using relays is it to relay some of so sensors so same thing so this are the device it can be adapted for for this purpose So next is automated and line switching. Okay. So the term automated, what the automated it denotes. So automated means without any manual, without any manual or without any hard support, it will be controlling. Controlling is made flexible. That is automatically, isn't it? So this is automated feeder and line switching. Okay. So what is the thing? So this also same thing. So automatic isolation. Okay. fault is there or if if is going to happen then you have to detect it okay so that is only automated so how it will be detected i already told that some there are there will be some switches okay since some so what is what will be the 
so it will be automatically isolated okay if any the any lines across fault it will be able to isolate it and it will be take some actions for restoring okay it will take some action to uh, isolate handle it okay so it, uh, this smart grid as a so handling automatic reasons okay i okay, isolation and it can it will be uh, handle for uh, it will be it will handle it to restore the service again okay so that only automated i is like this two also similar thing only so automated i landing and reconnection means it will be the out it will be the reconnection will be achieved automatically okay that will be uh, isolated and it will be come into action within a fraction of second okay it can be able to restore it again okay that one only reconnection so uh, automatic features it has smart grid has a automatic features to handle the fault and able to restore the service okay so next is automated voltage and var control okay so this also you'll be studied in previous facts subjects okay so what is this thing will be studied var control then you'll be studied how to perform the uh, the reactive power control okay the reactive power control is all thing you'll be studied in facts so how will you perform how will you control it you'll be using some capacitor banks or voltage regulator okay some transformer load change load tap changes okay like this we will be using and in addition with that we are using the sensors and some control and finally the communication system so the communication system plays a vital role okay it plays a vital role in, in smart grid okay this is the main advantage the main advantage is the smart grid enables the features of ict techniques ict means information and communication technologies this is a thing uh, the, it is different it is the thing enabled in smart grid okay so next is it has the features next feature is real time load measurement and management okay so what is the thing load measurement and management so what is load management so already um so what is the function means it has it supports the customer okay it's uh, that means um it provides to uh, manage so the utilization of load okay how much load can be utilized and what are our uh, customer satisfaction and it will it will reveal the data of uh, real time price signals how uh, how many how much electricity consumed and what is the price for it what is the price for it and what is the service what are the time of usage how uh, how, how will how, how, how will the customers utilize the time okay so like this details it will be provided okay so the smart grid main advantage is we can this consumer consumer satisfaction will be met okay so that means how we can utilize our load okay how can we utilize our load and in by the way of consuming the electricity so how much uh, energy is consumed and how much price is allocated and how much time of usage is there and how uh, the how the services is Uh, options are met and it will ensure the day so the load measurement management so how can the load can be managed like this details it has the function of thing okay so next is load okay so that is it has the um, already you know smart grid has the advantage of improving the reliable it has it will it has reliable features and also it has the efficiency okay efficiency is high so it is flexible okay so due to this advantage so due to this advantage it has a features of transfer the load okay to that is we can it will meet the satisfaction that is it can able to improve the efficiency and improve the performance and it has the features of reliable Okay, so these are the thing. It has the features of 
so next is customer electricity use optimization uh, so this is also similar to load measurement and management so it has a consumer option okay so it so what is the thing so every customers it, he can make made her her own decisions okay he has the capability to take he has the capability to give the details and he can able to uh, list the features of cost uh, reliability and the environmental impact all the one he can able to he will pro give some have them awareness okay so this will this also customer satisfaction also can able to meet okay so that is the thing customer electricity usage so he can able to limit his usage and he can able to uh, the result. he can able to communicate so that is the thing comes under customer usage okay so these are the thing it has the functions okay these are the functions of smart grid okay. Okay, next thing we can see the opportunities. Okay, next thing, opportunities of smart grid. Okay, in India. Okay, so uh, what are the opportunities available? There are four opportunities. First is regulations. Next economics. Next environmental. Next technology. So what is the thing? So normal, uh, normally international companies so that will be uh, some projects will be carried out by some international companies. Okay, so some projects related to smart grid technology it will be carried out in some of the companies. And if the if the project is successful, okay, if the project is successful, then the government will take some action. Okay, then the government will grant some contract. Okay, so so finally we can implement these projects in all over our nation. Okay, so that is called as regulations. That is some government support. Okay, so it uh, so we have that opportunities. Okay, in India we have the opportunities to run. Okay, that is one thing is regulations. So what is the thing? So in some international companies, so the projects some pro some of the projects related to smart grid technologies. Okay, will be carried out in some of the industries. And if the project is successful, okay, if the project is successful, then the government will grant some. Contract okay, so it uh, to implement all over the nation okay, so it has uh, India has some this opportunity okay, so this is the first opportunity. Second thing, economics okay, so what is economics? Already we told that economics means that is uh, economically means that cost we can discuss about cost, isn't it? So it is economical. How can we say it is economic? Because it uh, by by implementing the smart grid technology, we can be able to reduce some of the commercial losses. Okay, how can you so example theft, energy theft? So like that, we can be able to prevent it. Okay, wow. So then, uh, how can we prevent the theft? Means installing the tamper some of the smart meters. If we install it, then we can be able to monitor it. So we can be able to find the Theft also, okay. Energy theft also, we can able to find it. So some of the losses can be we can able to minimize. Okay. Uh, so if we see the statistical analysis means so thirteen bill billions. Okay, thirteen billions we can able to save. Okay, we can able to save. We can save the cost annually. So if you related to if you uh, if you similarly for long term usage, if we minimize the transmission and technical loss. So then we can be able to improve our grid features, infrastructures also. Okay. So overall cost can be improved to twenty two billion. Okay. Uh, for next five years, we can improve the twenty two billions per year. Okay. So we can be able to improve their cost. Okay. So this economical wise, so this smart grid will be able to become it uh, it will satisfy it. Okay. That is cost can be minimized. Okay. Because if we reduce the loss, automatically cost economical loss it will become 
more economical isn't it so it has the opportunity this market plays vital role in economical also so third factor is environmental consideration uh, so what are the environmental consideration so already told i told you that because of co2 emissions because of co2 carbon dioxide emissions okay so because of this emissions we has uh, some environmental impact isn't it for carbon emissions so because of this carbon emissions there is some currently india is facing some of the issues so by implementing the smart grid technologies okay so by implementing in smart grid technologies so what is the thing so, so we can able to use renewable energy sources isn't it so by using uh, renewable energy sources we can able to prevent from carbon emissions isn't it we can able to prevent from carbon co2 emissions so finally our productivity and growth will also will get improved so our in you can so smart grid play, plays a vital role in it has the opportunity to develop renewable energy source okay so this is also one of the opportunity and next opportunity is technology so i already told that uh, i already discussed previously isn't it so by implementing some of the technologies our operation will be reliable okay if we adapt some of the technology what will be the thing the we can able to improve reliable okay reliable operation and we can able to sustain it okay so it has the opportunity to improve our technology also okay by improving the technology our system can be reliable and more efficient okay so these are the opportunity we are having we are having regulations that is to implement our project all over the india okay so it have the regulations and similarly we can able to reduce the losses and reduce the theft and we can able to improve our economical okay next thing we have the features of yeah preventing we are preventing the carbon emissions and have the features of to develop our renewable energy sources okay so usage more usage of renewable energy sources we have we can we has the opportunity okay next thing we have the opportunity to develop our technology okay so that if we develop develop our technology it will become more reliable okay so more reliable and the performance can be improved so it has more efficiency so these are the opportunities we are having okay so remaining thing we can see in next class